Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you all are fine and enjoying good health at home and i also hope that you have done your homework and let's have a uh, let's have a quick review of unit number 1 where that you learned last week some adjectives that we can now when we add the before uh, the before then number 2 we can add ing to a verb to form a noun this noun is called a gerund gerund phrases are verb phrases that behave like nouns we use we use the helping verb would to express pre uh, preference to emphasize our choice we use would rather if we want to emphasize on our choice we use would rather long vowel o u sound hope you all uh, have done your homework let's come to unit number 2 that is also a narration and the topic is on the quest for food you will be able to learn in this topic is read and appreciate the adventure in personal account that is the story is about adventure and uh, answer simple questions about the sequence of event make predictions and inferences about characters that you, uh, you can predict that what happened next what happened next according to the situation happening in the story identify and use the prefixes miss and non uh understand the use of will and shall will and shall are helping verbs you you will be able to understand the use of will and shall that is for future that this this could happen or if you want to put stress on your uh, uh, thinking you can use the verb uh, the helping verb will and shall let's coming to the topic let's come to the topic the stories uh, This excerpt is taken from the famous story of Robinson Crusoe, the who was marooned in the uh, on an island. The story is about Crusoe's extraordinary attempts to stay alive before he was rescued years later. Uh, the I will let's uh, uh, I will tell you about uh, Robinson Crusoe. Robinson Crusoe, as young and impulsive wanderer, defied his parents and went to sea. He was involved in a series of violent storms at sea and was warned, warned by the captain that he should not be a seafaring man. Ashamed to go home, Crusoe boarded another ship and returned from a successful trip to Africa. Taking off again, Crusoe met with bad luck and was taken prisoner in Sicily. His captors. Sent crews out to fish, and he used this to his advantage and escaped along with the sail. He was rescued by a Portuguese ship and and started a new adventure. He landed in Brazil, and after some time, he became the owner of a sugar plantation. Hoping to increase his wealth by buying slaves, he aligned himself with other planters and undertook a trip to Africa in order to bring back a shipload of slaves. After surviving the storm, Cruz and the others were shipwrecked. He was thrown uh, upon shore, only to discover that he was the sole survivor of the wreck. Wreck means disaster. As time passed, the Cruz became a skilled craftsman, able to construct many useful things, and thus furnish himself with diverse comforts. He also learned about farming as a result of some seeds which he brought. With him, an illness prompted some prophetic dreams, and Cruz began to reappraise his duty to God. Cruz explored his island and discovered another part of the island, much richer and more fertile, and he built a summer home there. One of the first tasks he undertook was to build himself a canoe, a canoe in case an escape became possible. But the canoe was too heavy to get to the water. He then constructed a small boat and journeyed along around the island. Cruz reflected on his earlier wicked life, disobeying his parents. After spending about 15 years on the island, Cruz found a man's naked footprint, and he was sorely beset by apprehensions which kept him awake at many nights. He considered many possibilities to account for the footprint, and he began to take extra precautions. Against a possible intruder. Sometimes the 
later, Cruz was horrified to find human bones scattered about the shore, evidently the remains of a savage feast. He was plagued again with new fears. He explored the nature of uh, cannibalism and debated his right to interfere with the customs of oh. another race. Later, Cruz saw a ship in distress, but everyone was already thrown on the ship and Cruz remained companionless. However, he was able to take many provisions from this newly wrecked ship. Sometimes later, cannibals landed on the island and victim escaped. Cruz saved his life, named, his, named him Friday and taught him English. That is all about the story, uh, that is all about Robinson Crusoe, history of Robinson Crusoe, the story is quite interesting and hope you all will enjoy reading the story, read the text carefully so that you could be able to, uh, read the text carefully so that you could be able to answer the questions clearly and uh, uh, now coming to the vocabulary, you are going to learn new words in this uh, text, you are going to learn new words Sustain, that means wear, depleting, exhaust, dingy, gloomy, dreary, dull, raisins, dry grapes, laden, loaded. Huh, what you have to do? What you have to do is to uh, is to take out your pencils, underline the words in the underline the words. Uh, in the text given to you on page number 20 and 21. Next is uh, coming to the exercise reading comprehension, page number 22 and 23. You will got your answers. Uh, now coming to the grammar, we are going to discuss helping verbs will or shall. We use helping verb will or shall. Will is used with second and third person form according to British grammar rules. Will is used with first person form when indicating a strong determination. For example, they will pay for this. This is show, uh, showing the determination of the person who is saying Will is less polite than shell. Will is more commonly used than shell, especially in America, American English. Shell is used with first person form according to British grammar rules. I, we. We use shell with I and we. And we use will with he, she, uh, sorry, we use uh, will with he, she, it, they. <coughs> shell is used with second and third person form when indicating a strong determination. I shall never give up hope. This is showing a strong determination of the person. Shell is more polite than will. Shell is less commonly used. We mostly use will with uh, all form of pronoun with all pronouns I, we, shell, uh, I, we, he, it, she, it. Will is also will and shell is also used to express intentions. For example, Maria will bandage the wound. We shall gather food to make fire. Here are a few more examples. Uh, Sam will make a spear to catch fish in the river that is showing the uh, intention of the person. We shall gather wood to make a fire. Uh, we, I shall make a flag out of my shirt to wave for help when I see a helicopter. And in terms of determination, the sentence may be if the bear comes near, Sam will fight for his life. Even when everyone gives up, I shall climb to the highest point on the mountain and wait for help. That is the determination. Use will uh, look at the exercise uh, page number 25 of your book, textbook. You have to use will or shall in the blanks in the bracket and express intentions in the bracket. Write I if the sentence express intentions or D if the sentence expresses Domination. You have to solve the exercise on page number 25 and 26. Now, coming to the prefixes. What is a prefix? Pre means before. Uh, before a word, a group of letters added to the beginning of word to change its meanings. 
For example, these are few prefixes miss, non, in, un, n, and m. We add before the words to change the meaning of these words. Means wrong, non also means wrong, then unable to. For, uh, and the words uh, made from these, uh, these prefixes are misread, mistake, misadvantage, non stop, non serious, in, incomplete, un, unable, unbearable, and unable, encourage, im, impossible. Look at the exercise on page number 24. You have to fill in the blanks with the correct word from the table given above in the examples. And uh, you have to find out the few more prefixes and make new words from these prefixes. Next is spellings. Read the words below. They have long I sound. For example, different words tiger. That is time. Hide. Pipe. Ride. The I sound is long sound. And in the second exercise, you have to fill in the blanks according to these uh, words given in the above, uh, above section and uh, fill the exercise, fill the blanks with, the, with these words having long I sounds. So coming to the homework, learn and solve complete unit number 2. Learn essay, my favorite hobby from grammar book. Write a journal that what will you do if you met with Robinson Crusoe? Let's have a quick review of the of today's lecture. What did you learn? The prefix miss means wrongly, and the prefix non means not. And you have to make few new words with the using these prefixes. We use the helping verbs will or shall to express intentions and determination, and write words that have the short I sound. The, uh, you, uh, you have to make new words using the short I sound. I sound. In your book, the, uh, there is long I sound, but you have to make words using short I sound. That's all about today's lecture. Hope you understand all those, uh, all those uh, given to you in the lecture. Handouts are available on, uh, at your WhatsApp number and on the website of Garrison School System. All these lectures, online lectures are also available on all uh, of four like, uh, subjects are available on the website of Garrison School System. For further updates, uh, follow uh, the official page of Garrison School System on Facebook. Thank you all office. Stay home and stay safe.